show you guys what I would do to bring them back to life because I got like a stomach bug, food poisoning, I was out for a few days, like I was sick, I haven't touched my hair in over a week. Um, and usually whenever I do like boho styles, you gotta like take care of it. You, it's, a, it's still a protective style, it still gives you a break, but it doesn't mean you can be lazy with it. And I'm literally showing you guys the aftermath of me not touching my hair in over a week, but I'm feeling much better. It's definitely tangled up in here, okay? I'll be honest with you. I've got my scissors right there because I know I'm gonna have to just clip some of the hair out, which is fine. It's not a big deal if you have to clip some of the curls. I've got all my products lined up, so I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I'm using in just a second, keeping it very simple. I do recommend putting some kind of product into your hair, some type of moisturizer in it, um, every two days almost, you know what I mean? Like just taking two to three minutes every night or every morning, every two days, if not every day is fine. And just kind of just working some product through, getting whatever tangles you may have out. If you do it like that, and it takes you two to three minutes to do your hairstyle, your hair lay your edges, you will be a lot happier than not touching your hair in days. And then being frustrated because now you have all these tangles, it's matted. Okay, let me show you guys the products that I am using today. So these locks are from Y Wigs. Make sure you check the description box. I'll have the direct link down below for you. So I have some water, some mousse, some um, gel. I have uh, two different oils. And of course I've got my edge controls right here, my blue lagoon that I don't do anything without. And of course some tools like scissors and the tangling brush as well. I'm putting on some jams and I'm getting ready to do this y'all. So starting off with the best thing you can do is drench your hair in some water. That's all I'm doing from roots to ends, just drenching it in water. Also make sure you are working in sections. I ended up doing four sections total I don't think anything more than four um, is necessary um, unless you just want to and you just feel like it but these are 26 inch locks so after I drenched my hair in water y'all that's the best thing you can do I just went on ahead and grabbed my tangle teaser and detangled the ends of my hair just loosening those up first before I started to work on the rest of it and y'all since it's been over a week for me since I've touched my hair I knew I was gonna have to grab my scissors and Cut a few pieces off, it's not that big of a deal. Each lock has about four strands of curly hair on it, including the ends. Um, so just keep that in mind. So if you have to cut a, a strand here or there or cut it in half, um, which is what I did to some of these as well, or whatever the case may be, you will survive. Trust me, it won't even make a really big difference. You're not gonna notice it. You will still get that boho style. What's most important is just taking out um, what is tangled and mainly it was just on the ends of the curl. So once I did that, added a little bit more water and then going straight into my foam, you can use, like I said, any kind of curl enhancing product should work. Um, I've really only stuck to foams, but this is like a trial and error sometimes, you guys, working with different brands, different kinds of hair, everything is not going to work for every style, but this uh, foam I use for my like, for everything I use it on my husband's hair my son's hair I use it for my wigs and of course these boho styles so I'm sticking to this lot of body foam and then just going in and defining the curls as well so just kind of pulling out random locks and just pulling the curls from the lock because they can stick a little bit make sure you do this step because it's gonna give you that fullness um, back into your hair and then next you guys I went on ahead and cleaned up the ends of my locks and then I just just took a little bit of gel right here in my hands and I'm talking about a very little bit you guys I just wanted it for added hold and added definition and then next y'all I'm gonna go in and focus on my scalp gotta give the scalp some love so I'm not adding any oil to my edges because I'm laying my edges I typically only add oil at nighttime when I'm putting my bonnet on getting ready to go to bed but if you're adding oil to your edges and then using edge control or gel or something like that it's going to be uh, a little difficult for them to lay and for them to stay. So I don't do 
any oils on my hairline during the day, only at nighttime. Added in the Adjua and the Jamaican black castor oil, gave myself a little scalp massage. And then I just, yeah, I'm on to the next section, y'all. So this is how we are looking. They are brought back to life. My locks looking good. And y'all, to the other side, I'm just repeating the entire process. Now, what's funny is that I have less locks on the left side of my hair than I do this side that I'm working on. Don't ask me how that came about. It just is what it is. And y'all, I was supposed to add more locks to the center of my head. I don't know if y'all noticed some were missing, but like literally when I made my first video and then I waited a few days because I was wearing my hair half up, half down, I just, I ended up getting sick. So I was like, well, there's no point I'll add more locks in when I've been wearing my hair half up, half down. You can't even see it. And then now I'm back to normal. It has been a whirlwind of a couple of weeks, y'all, a couple days. Anyways, um, yeah, just doing the same thing to this side, you guys, and then we will lay our edges. All right, y'all. So last little step for maintenance day with these locks is just laying my edges, getting, you know, this is just, it just completes the look in my opinion. I love some exaggerated bold edges when it comes to looks like this. So I'm using this Design Essentials. It's not my absolute favorite, y'all, but it did the trick because it does leave a little bit of white cast. And I don't like that. That just gives buildup and all that kind of stuff. Um, but I used a tiny bit of that, swoop my edges down along with my gold wig well um gel y'all and then in the end i just ended up putting a little bit of my design essentials foam all over the front of my head and then tying it down with a scarf and that was basically it for how i maintained my locks but yeah i'm gonna show you guys just a quick final look and an up close look at my edges as well because everything came out looking so good in another tip or two so don't go nowhere It came out just as I expected. It came out good. It's still a little bit damp, but it took me literally, you guys, 29 minutes to do my hair. And that's with all the tangles. I've got hair on the floor that needs to be picked up. Um, that's just judging it back, getting it back to normal. Like I said before, on a daily basis, it takes me two to three minutes. Um, just to kind of work those products through five minutes max. Really, I don't spend too much time. The curls are back with this. You don't need a lot of products. I just make sure something has some type of curl defining to it. So this, I like to use this because it's the um, lot of body milk and honey. It's the curl defining mousse. So one of these products that I'm using has to have some type of something that is for curls. Of course, just having your curls moisturized helps to bring them out. I don't know if I wanna wear it like that or all of it kind of over. But anyways, y'all, I like how my edges look. They look good, the hair looks like, and my hair, I just came back to life. Just, it just, this combination of products just gave me so much life, you guys, that I desperately needed. Make sure you head over to my Amazon store and go to Protective Styling Hair Care 2024. I'll name it something like that. And I'll put everything that I typically use when it comes to boho styles in that category or any kind of protective style. So the oils, the um, the mousse, all that kind of stuff will be down there for you. Yeah, just wanted to give you guys a real true kind of update with this hair. I think it still looks good. I'm not gonna hold y'all no more. Thank you guys so much for watching. I gotta, I gotta keep this day rolling that I'm feeling good. I got stuff to do. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys in the next video.